Joanne from New Zealand and the next decoration I'm going to make is this little wee elf. He's a little cutie and you see a lot of him on Pinterest. Um, it's where I got the idea from. So what you're going to need to make him is you're going to need four pieces of felt. You're going to need the face piece. You're going to need the little band at the bottom of his hat or fur I suppose. You need his hat. You're going to need a little green leaf. Then the other things you're going to need to embellish this is you're going to need some couple of eyes. I'll see if I can get those little buttons up, my little doll's buttons there. And I'm going to use here, I'm going to put a green, I don't know if you can hear it, a green bell. We'll see how that goes on that point. Green bell at the end of his hat. And then for the um, decoration at the end of those those leaves I've opted to put little beads or they're actually buttons little but shank buttons so I've got two red and a gold there and I'll stitch those on at the base of that leaf so this elf I'm also making him so that he hangs and so I've got some satin twisted red and white ribbon and that will be put in at the top when I've finished the front. So the first thing to do when making this is to just attach, just attach the hat to the skin. I'm just going to stitch a few stitches along there. You're not going to see them because that trim is going to be sewn on next. All right, here's the elf's hat stitched on. You can see it's just along the edge there at the back. So what I'm going to do now is place on the hat trim and um, use my wonder clips to secure those in place. These are great. They're just tricky to work around when it comes to stitching. But for holding them, it's perfect. So what I'll do is I'll probably start somewhere in the middle here and start securing it and work my way all the way around the edge using a matching thread. <music> Here's the wee elf all stitched next thing to do is to use your sharp wee scissors. Now I'm going to use two pairs today. I'm going to use my little micro tip uh, fiskers which cut right to the point which will be quite essential for certain areas and I'm also going to use my curved scissors which will make cutting around that curve uh, much easier. Here's our wee hanging elf all stitched on. So what we need to do now is I need to add those little uh, buttons, shank buttons here and add the bell uh, at the end of that tip of his hat and I need to do something for a nose. I think I'm actually just going to draw that in. Um, I have to think about that and uh, we'll see what happens at the end. 